Back in 2003, we went out to the community for a new high school and a remodeled elementary. We hadn't done our homework at a time, so uh, the community let us know quickly that uh, it wasn't the right fit. The school board wisely took a couple years to take a look at what do we do now. And in about 2005, they came up with a, a two-phase plan. And the first one was to build a new elementary. And phase two was for a new high school. Our selection of architect was vital to what we were trying to, to achieve here. We wanted to build something for the future. We didn't want to build a building that would be obsolete in 2025. And Cunningham gave us the best idea of what, what would be possible with that. They came to us and said, there are some really innovative things going on um, in education. And you seem like an innovative school district. We'd like to, to partner with you guys and, um, and really work on the innovation of education. That was exciting for us, that they brought that to the table. Part of our process was to bring the community together pre-referendum and to de design with them, not for them. Um, so they really had a good sense of what they were getting when they went out to vote. It was really about trying to figure out what was our conceptual design. How did we want this building to look? And I think it was through that process that kind of put together that the community came together. And, and that built all kinds of energy then. When we start, everyone is a separate voice. Everyone is a separate identity, a separate sort of consciousness. And after two or three days, that group of a hundred turns into one shared design consciousness. And it just gets everyone excited about uh, moving forward together. If you looked at their old building, it dictated how they taught. You had concrete block walls, you had finite spaces. So I think one of the key things was flexibility and flexibility for the future. They all organized the school into a kind of village of things with learning communities and then a performing arts wing and then an activities wing. So it was really clear that they were interested in kind of a village of forms that came together in a community heart. And in fact, it was the students who kind of came up with the idea of this space, which we called Eat, Meet, Greet. Um, it was a community space, became the community living room, in essence. It was a student's idea. I think that really helped the design of the new high school because it was like designed for us, by us. You know, we dreamed big, and I think we got bigger than we dreamed. Now that it's here, it's fantastic. It's, it is what we had hoped it to be. I think that the high school is making the students better students because we have a lot more learning opportunities here than we did at the old high school. There's a kind of flexibility that is long-term that is able to be occupied differently or reshaped over time. Walls can be changed out. You can redesign the spaces inside the learning community. You can change the, the style of that classroom every day. You can go from a lecture approach, if that's part of what your plan is. You can go into a small group approach. You can go into a technology approach. I'm more of a facilitator and kids are more collaborative and I feel like there's deeper learning taking place. We have all the answers now that we've researched, but who's to say 10, 15 years from now, there's not something better. And it is our job to change for the betterment of kids, and, and this building will allow that to occur. Well, one of the things that came out of here because we had the flexible design was that we created academies around job clusters, and around each of those academies, we have an advisory group that's comprised of teachers and administrators, but business people as well, or community people. We're shouting at kids, you know, what are you passionate about? What do you want to do? You know, and that our mission says, my future starts here. And we want our kids to have that mindset of, yeah, my, my future does start here. It starts today. There was pride at, at being involved with something that I think is going to have a lasting legacy in this community. I really believe that. And to be part of that was, it was an honor. It really has been a remarkable experience. One that, you know, I, I don't think is repeated very often in, a, in someone's creative lifetime. And for me, this is just about as good as it gets. This is something to rally around and be part of. And uh, I think it's hard to capture that. And this process did do that. This, this building did do that. If you have that, that kind of energy, that kind of support, you can almost do anything.